Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 3.58 from Sadiku book. So the question is find I1, I2, and I3 in the circuit of figure 3.103. I1 is the current loop here, the loop current on here. I2 is the current loop here and I3 is the current loop here. Don't be afraid of this circular shape because it's essentially the same. So we need to do KVL at I1 and then I2 and then I3. And we will get three equation with three variables. Okay, let's start by doing KVL at loop I1. Okay, KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. We have these three components in the loop. One, two, and three. Let's start from this 120 volt. And the current is flowing from the positive side to negative side. So I will have positive sign. So I just write the magnitude here. 120. And then plus this component here, 30 ohm. But we need voltage resistance. To get voltage, we need to multiply it by the current. The only current that pass through it is I1. So I will have 30 I1 and then plus I will have 10. Again, we need to multiply it by the current, but currently we are working on I1. So I will have I1 first, but here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I will have minus I2. Okay, I think we got all the components here. All of that will equal to zero. And now let's work with simple arithmetic 30 plus 10 is equal to 40, so I will have 40 I1. And let's distribute this 10, so I will have minus 10 I2. And let's move this 120 to the right hand side, so I will have minus 120. Okay, that's good. Let's save this as equation number one. Okay, now let's do another KVL. So I will have KVL at loop i2 so the sum of the voltage in the loop is equal to zero so now let's start from this 30 ohm so we will have 30 ohm there and we need to multiply it by the only current that pass through it which is i2 and then plus i will have 10 and then multiplied by i2 minus i3 Good, and now the last component is this one. So I will have plus 10, and I will have I2, but this time I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. So minus I1. All of that will equal to 0. And now let's analyze the variables one by one. Uh, I1 only came from here, and that will be 10 times this minus I1. So I will have minus 10 I1. And then for I2, I will have 30 plus 10 and then plus 10. So I will have 50 I2. 50 I2. And then for I3, that's only came from this term. So I will have minus 10 I3. Okay, and we don't have a constant term. So all of that will equal to 0. And let's save this as equation number 2. And now one more loop here and we work with KVL at loop 3. KVL at loop I3. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to 0. Okay, we start from I3 and the current is flowing from the negative side to positive side. So I will have minus 120. And then plus this component here, I will have 10. We are working on I3 here, but then I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So minus I2 and then plus 30 and I will have I3 there. All of that will equal to 0. Okay, I2 only comes from here, so I will have minus 10 I2 and then plus... 30 plus 10, I will have 40 I3. And all of that will equal to 120. 
Okay, this is equation number three. So now we have three equation with three variables. So we should be able to solve that, right? So I will have to solve one, two, and three. And I think the fastest way to do it is by using calculator. Okay, let's set up our calculator. This button here. Number 5 is equation solver. And then 3 variables is number 2. Okay, let's plug in the coefficient. So I will have 40 here. 40 I1. And then minus 10 I2. So I have minus 10. But we have 0 I3. We have to be very careful here because we have 3 variables. So we need to write them out. So 0 I3 and then minus 120. That's good. And now number 2, I will have minus 10 and then 50 and then minus 10 and all of that will equal to 0. Good. And then the last one, I don't have I1 here, so we have to be careful here. So this is 0. And I will have minus 10 for I2 and then 40 for I3 and then lastly 120 for the constant term. Okay, so I will have this is I1 which is th minus 3. So I will have I1 is equal to minus 3 and the unit here will be ampere right <coughs> <coughs> and then what is i2 i2 is the y variables and i2 is 0 good <coughs> and then what is i3 i3 is the z variable so i will have 3 Okay, I think that is the final answer. I1 is minus 3 ampere. And then I2 is 0 ampere. And then I3 is 3 ampere. Okay, and I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.